dreams. Well, today is Veterans Day. So let me start off by saying thank you. Thank you to all the men and women that have had the courage to serve this great nation. Without each of you, we wouldn't get to enjoy the freedoms or chase the opportunities that we do every single day. I read something earlier today that said this, we may not know all of you, but we owe all of you. And that couldn't be more true. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your service and for your sacrifice. I am forever grateful. Happy Veterans Day. So today's Daily Dose message is this, build it and they will come. That's right, build it and they will come. Well, maybe not right away. Let me explain. Seven years ago this weekend, the Digme team and I proudly opened the doors to our very first store, Digme Nation, in Port Washington, Long Island. That's right, for some of you, you may not even know, we actually had a store and it was awesome and we built it from scratch, literally. We found this really cool spot in Port Washington on Main Street, no better place to start a small business than Main Street USA, right? And we knocked down everything in it and we rebuilt the place. Hardwood floors, a really cool brick wall, we even got a Dig Me inspired custom mural of an American flag on the back wall for everyone to pose uh, for pictures in. It was incredible. It was two rooms. We made one room look like you were walking downstairs into a subway. It was so awesome. And the reason why I did this was simple. For a long time, I was trying so hard to take Dig Me and get it over the hump, to take it and put it into stores. And every time I had a meeting with a store, a retailer, a small boutique, the meeting always went extremely well. I tell them the story, I show them the logo, I would show them our collection, and they were like, this is awesome. And then the conversation would turn for the worse. They would look at me and say, Ray, we're super interested. This is incredible. What other stores are you in? What? What other retail accounts do you have? Oh boy. And every single time they asked that question, I had to be honest and tell them the truth. And the answer was zero. I was in no other stores. We had no other retail accounts. And the only place we were selling our merchandise was online. So every single time I told them that I was in no other stores and had no other accounts, they would look at me and say, all right, no problem. We love what you're doing. We love your passion. We love the logo. But come back to us when you land another account. Come back to us when you land your first store. And every single time I would leave a meeting like that, I would walk to my car and I would say, how the heck am I supposed to get my first retail account if no one wants to be first to give me the chance? I was so frustrated that I eventually came back and I said, you know what, there's only one thing to do. And there are probably a million other options, but of course I had to do, do something extreme. So I decided to open my own store. I said to myself, if no one is gonna let the guy in the tie get on their shelves, I'm gonna put them on my own shelves. If no one's gonna put dig me in, in their stores, I'm gonna build my own store. And luckily for me, we found a great spot. We built up this incredible store. And like I said, it was awesome. And it became home for the Dig Me team and for the Dig Me brand for almost five years. And during that five year period, it gave us credibility. It gave us a place to work and to design. We hosted special events. Even Major League Baseball players came by and made special appearances. It was a cool spot for all of us. And to be honest, it served its purpose. It really did help us get to the next level because just less than two years after we moved on from that store location, we found ourselves in the middle of New York City in Bloomingdale's. So I'd like to think that opening that store put us on track to go on to the next level. But I'll tell you what, I don't, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about that store. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about so many of those unforgettable memories with the Digme team, so many fans, so many new customers, some of those major league players that were kind enough to make an appearance. It was a really special place. And like I said, seven years ago, this weekend, we opened the doors. The point of that little story is this. We had a choice. Keep pushing, waiting for someone to give us an opportunity to be in a store or build our own store. And we chose the latter. We built our own store. Like I said, if you build it, they will come. Now, when we first opened the doors, we did have a grand opening celebration and it was awesome. A ton of people showed up, a lot of friends, a lot of family, a lot of Long Island Duck fans, some New York Mets fans. It was really cool. But as you can guess, Moving on from some of those special events, it wasn't always busy. There were days that nobody came in. There were days where it looked like I, I had made the wrong decision. But over the course of time, more and more people would stop by and we would have numerous special events. And like I said, the store really did serve its purpose. And I'll tell you what, 
There is not a day, no matter how challenging, how difficult opening that store and running that store for four years was, there's not a day that I regret doing it. It was awesome. It was one of the biggest challenges that I've ever had, but I'd like to think that most of the, most of the members of the digging team would say, it was some of the most memorable and rewarding nights that we've ever had working on this project. So the reason why I keep sharing more of this story is this. We had a choice to build it or not to build it, and we chose to build it. How many of you out there have ever seen the movie Feel the Dreams, right? One of the greatest baseball movies of all time. That's where the phrase comes from. If you build it, they will come. But maybe not right away. You see, Kevin Costner's character, Ray Kinsella, in Feel the Dreams, he built a field. He knocked down his corn farm. He knocked down the one source of income he had for his family because he had this hunch that if he built a baseball field, something special would happen. Well, guess what? He was right, but not at first. He built the baseball field and he would sit on his porch and wait and wait and wait and nothing happened until it did. So the point of today's Daily Dose message is this. Build it and they will come. That's right. Whatever it is that you're chasing, whatever it is that you believe in your heart of hearts, build it. Maybe it's building an old car and getting it street ready again, right? Maybe it's building yourself back up physically after an injury or trying to become healthier and becoming a better you. If you build it, they will come. And they may be friends, they may be family, they may be groups of people buying your product, or they may be you smiling at yourself when you look in the mirror. Whatever it is that you're chasing, whatever it is that you want, don't wait for someone to allow you to get on their shelves. Don't wait for another store to call you to tell you that they're finally gonna take your product. Build your own store, build your own body, build that car that you've always wanted, build that business, most importantly, build that confidence. Because if you build the confidence, they sure will come. And they could be job opportunities, great games played on the field, great social memories that you'll make. You have to build it. So today's message is this. Yes, I told you a little backstory about building our first Digny store. And we built it and people did come. Customers did come eventually. But when I say build it and they will come, what I'm really saying is build yourself up. Build that confidence because once you build yourself up, once you build your confidence up, they will be waiting online to do business with you, to hang out with you, to work with you, to do so many things with you. So on this Monday, on this Veterans Day, in honor of all those people that took the time, that had the courage and the sacrifice to serve this country, to give you the opportunity to chase your dreams, do them a favor, do them the service of building yourself up because that's what they would want for you. That's why they did what they did. So that was your daily dose for Monday, November 11th, Veterans Day. Once again, thank you to all the veterans out there for everything you've done for us. Thank you again for giving us the opportunity to build something special. And, uh, and that's it. So I hope today's message hit home for you. We celebrated seven years from our Dignity Nation store this past weekend. And I have a feeling, I can't say when, I have no idea when it would happen again, but somewhere in my heart of hearts tells me that Digme will open up another one of its doors somewhere down the road. It may be next year, it may be five years from now, it may be 30 years from now. Who knows, I may not even be running that store. Maybe it's my daughter, Stella Rose, you never know. So once again, guys, that was your Daily Dose for Monday, November 11th, Veterans Day. Thank you again for tuning in. Like I always say, whether it's one, 100, 1,000, or a million of you that end up watching and listening to this podcast, just know you're the one reason I love to do it every single day. So until tomorrow, whatever's left of this special Veterans Day, Monday, November 11th, get out there, tip your cap, and dig your dream.